Um, it's been a truly busy time for some of us and not a busy time for the other ones of us, right? So does everyone know what you do for a living? Does your family know what you do for a living? Does everybody who is around you know what you do for a living? Does everyone know that? And I think this is my biggest challenge that I'm going to throw out to you guys. If everyone knows what you do, then you should never really have to explain to people who know you what you do. And I think that's the thing that we don't take advantage of. We assume that people know what we do. We don't want to take the time to explain what we do. And those that don't know, we just kind of bypass them and keep going. Right? So if we have conversations, which has always been my coup de grace, conversations with people, and it's always the, oh, 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 so you can help me with this. Oh, so that means you can put makeup on me. You can help me with my lashes. You can talk to me about my skincare. You can sell me some products. Oh, we always just say, oh, I'm an esthetician. And we kind of leave it at that. We never really get in to the bigger picture of what exactly an esthetician is and how we make money. Because I think that's the missing piece to the entire thing with our career and why we have such a high turnover rate is because we don't look at it as a career. We look at it as a job. And that's something that I learned very, very early on as an esthetician. This is my career, which means I'm not going to give up when it looks bad. I'm not going to run and try to do something else when money is funny. I, this is my career, which means I'm going to put 150% into it until I have nothing left. A lot of us jump ship when it rains for the first time. And we say we're not coming back. I'm not going to do it. People make me mad. They don't want to buy what I have. They don't want to spend the money. We're quick to jump onto that <laughs> negative boat. But I think for me, it's always been, this is my career, this is what I'm going to do, so I'm going to let everybody know what I do. As an esthetician and a single business owner, you will never make everyone happy. Nor are you to be there to be everyone's friend. Sometimes the people who you want to be your clients are right are not going to be your clients. If I have someone who's going to come in and challenge every single price on my service menu or challenge how I do my services, they're not my client. And I'm okay with saying they're not my client. We are in the opposite. We're so scared and we're so fearful that we won't have continuous customer base that we put up with any and everything and then we turn around and say oh this is the industry and we take that negativity and put it on our industry when really no you have to draw a line the first hint you get from a client that they're going to be a whole lot of work it's really not worth the money and as Angela and I both say all money ain't good money because if someone from the beginning shows you exactly who they are and how they're going to treat you, that will never change. We're not giving away discounts. We are charging what we're worth. We are going to take time for ourselves. We are truly going to work efficiently. We're not going to be sitting in our room waiting for someone to come in. If someone has canceled and they're not on my book, then that's the time that I need to clean my room. I need to look at the cobwebs. I need to look at the light fixtures. I need to start marketing. If you can consistently communicate with your clients, you will always have a response. If you don't consistently talk to your clients, then you can't expect people to know what you are, where you are, how to get a hold of you, all of that good stuff. If you notice the way I market, if you notice the way I communicate with all of you, it's consistent. Tuesday nights, we talk. Every day on Facebook, I'm talking to somebody. Every day on Instagram, I'm talking to somebody. And then I have YouTube that's always in the background, kind of like a TV, always communicating with people. The minute you have no one communicating with you, you should worry. If you have no one communicating with you, asking you a question, posting a like, nothing, you should be worried. But it's easy now. 
We have made it so easy to communicate with each other on a consistent basis. There's really no excuse for you not to be communicating. Now, you may not know how to plug in different things. You may not know where to put things at or how to get it so that it looks this way or, you know, make yourself a meme and do all that. And that's where I come in and help. But there's so many different avenues that you can communicate with your people. There's really no reason why you should not. No talking, no money. When I talk to people, I, I make money. And that's it. And it's not hard. Let's not knee jerk. Let's not throw something up against the wall and see if it's going to work. Let's do everything with intention. Let's have a plan. We all know Valentine's Day is coming up in February. Yes? Yes. We all know it's a big waxing holiday. Lots of clients will come out of the woodworks just to get their hoo-ha waxed for whoever they're going to get it waxed for. We know this. So why not work in that parameter and start marketing now? Valentine's Day is coming. My books will be full. You need to make sure you have your appointment. If you need two before that happens, let's get those two booked right now. What's so hard about saying that? And realize if you talk to people every single day, they're coming. They are coming. It's not that, that when they come. No, 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 no. They're coming to see you. Are you ready to see them? They're coming. So now is your time to truly get down a method for advertising, a true method to communicate and get everybody on the same page. Once they get onto the same page and once they understand that you're going to be busy, insist the two books. And that's the thing. For me, it's never been hard. Even without a holiday, all of my clients are always going to book at least two out. Part, part of my issue is I travel so much. So they know you're either going to get it or you're not. The other key to it too is that if you if you put it into a position of words where they need to do it in order for them to continue seeing you, it changes the way they do business with you. But if you never position it in that way and they truly think that you're sitting in the room waiting for them, then why would they book multiple appointments? It's all how you present it. It's all how you present yourself. So Valentine's Day, we know our clients are coming. They're going to come to get Brazilians. There should be no reason why you need to give a discount. When you know they're coming. Why discount? They're already coming. Give them some candy. <laughs> Have some snacks in the lobby. The minute you discount, you got to keep discounting because that expectation is there. The minute you start doing birthday cards... Or thank you notes, you got to start it because that expectation is going to be there. So if you want to do something where you know will not be such a time zapper, but you can always do it, think of it from that point of view. I think I read in one of the, in the, in the uh, rants, I'm in one of the rants group, and um, someone had posted uh, that their client had emailed them saying that they were going to wait for the next sale that they were running. <laughs> and I was like laughing so hard. Yeah, I, I, I laugh when I read that. I was like, oh my gosh, how, how dare a client say that they're going to wait for your next sale? But that also speaks volumes to that esthetician, unfortunately, that all you do is offer sales. If we could ever come together as estheticians and truly command what we deserve, command what we, it would be so different. It's a process. It's a process to look at your books and say, oh my gosh, I have only five appointments this week. A lot of us will focus on that five and we will never focus on communicating consistently every day in spite of only having five. Because that's how we do. We look at our books and we say, okay, so I have five this week. I'm going to have 10 next week and I'm going to have 15 the week after. So that's about, that's about $1,000. That's about $1,500. Then I can do that next week. I can pay so-and-so next week. I can do grocery shopping in two weeks. Let's not count the cash tips because the cash tips going to go in the tip jar. And we're going to use that when it gets full. So when that gets to 200 then I'm going to you know, I'm gonna go to Costco. And then I'll be able to buy what I want to buy at the Costco in bulk with my tips. The only reason I say that is because I've been there. I truly know, yes, gas money. We ain't even going to talk about gas money because that's why we love tips. Especially of us running around on E. I'm a, a honey, I'm an E lover in my car. My light stays on. I love it. I don't know why. But when I was really starting out, honey, E was it. Until I got some tips so I can go to the gas station and put some, look. Back in the day when I was really young and dumb, honey, don't let me get a dollar because I'm only going to put a dollar in the gas tank. <laughs> 
to do what I had to do I'm trying to tell you the only reason I can truly talk to you about this is because I lived it and a lot of estheticians who are successful don't ever talk about the times that they struggle